Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to export design assets in Adobe XD. Okay, so here I have two artboards ready. I have one for the web and one for the iPhone X. Now let's say I want to start exporting some assets here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is grab the background image here and under the menu I'm going to find export at the bottom and I can either click on the selected option here or I can press the command, the keyboard shortcut which is Command or Control E, which will bring up the Export Assets uh, menu. So right now we're looking at the default settings for exporting a PNG for design. And what that'll do is simply give me one image at the exact size that I've designed within Adobe XD. And that can be really useful if I wanna simply share an idea or concept. But if I'm ready to uh, export and send off uh, design or production ready uh, the design assets, I want to click on the web option here and I want to be able to share multiple sizes to accommodate for uh, different pixel densities and screen sizes. So for this asset, I've designed it at 1x or the standard size, the exact size for the, for the web. So I want to also get a size that is twice the size of that image. So if I click on a 1x and export this, I will get two images, one for the standard size and one that is twice the size of the original. Now the same thing kind of goes for the iOS. Uh, so if I want to take this image for the iPhone X and export this, I want to go down to iOS here and I have a, an additional option. I have 1x, I have twice the size and three times the size. I'm going to stick with 1x and export this going to send off to a different folder and go ahead and export and you can see that I have the standard size a 2x size and a 3x size now if I want to export for Android the options are slightly different so clicking on this option here for Android instead of getting a 1x 2x or 3x I'll get a percentage starting at 100%, which is basically a 1x, and that scales down to 75%, all the way up to 400%, which is basically 4x, or four times that original 100% um, mid DPI. So if I export this, not only will I get those assets, but it'll actually organize it for me inside of folders for high DPI, low DPI, all the way up to uh, uh, three times high DPI. Now, depending on your design process, you may wanna uh, design at the maximum screen size first and then scale downwards so you can ensure that your designs, your images look crisp and clean on all screen sizes. But again, that really just depends on your whole process. Okay, so jumping back now, if I wanna export more than one asset, I can simply grab or click one element and uh, hold shift to click another or I can draw a selection around all the things that I want to export here go onto my menu and go ahead and change the folder here and what I'll get is uh, multiple sizes for each design element that I want here Also, since I have vectors in this uh, document, I can go ahead and export those as SVGs so I can save space and ensure that uh, they will look crisp and clean on every size. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to my export menu and I'll change the format to uh, SVG. Go ahead and export that. And as you can see here, I have those files in a scalable uh, vector format. In addition, let's say I have a logo or any text that I want to uh, change to a vector. I can go ahead and click on that and press command or control and a letter, I'm sorry, the number eight. And that'll change that to, uh, um, change the text to an outline. So I can go ahead and export that as well as an SVG. One last thing I want to go through here is let's say you want to export the entire artboard. 
You can do so by clicking the name of the artboard and go to the menu and you can export that as, as a PNG, a JPEG, or even a PDF. Now, if I wanna export multiple artboards, I have the option to uh, export uh, the PDF as a single file or multiple pages. And so that is how you export your design assets in Adobe XD. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.